So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your second Angular framework tutorial in which we're gonna install Angular and set it up properly using something known as Angular CLI or Angular command line interface. Right, so it makes it easy to set up your Angular framework properly in a folder without doing much of hassle and uh, downloading and shifting files here and there right so it's a kind of a tool for you for the developers to get started with angular so just hit on get started and i'm just showing you sort of the documentation way so even if something changes in the future which probably should not now then you are actually good to go yourself so right now it says me see a like look quick start here so it just tells me a bunch of stuff so it says me to install angular cli globally and first of all for that you need npm so if you don't know what this is or um, you know you have no idea what i want you to do is go to this website nodejs.org right and download the latest release for your operating system and uh, you'll be good to go so as you can see that uh, angular cli requires you to have at least 6.9 version of node.js and npm 3.x so when you install node npm would come automatically with it right so what you have to do then is uh, go to your folder where you want to set up your application hold shift and press uh, right key and open command window here if you're using windows or if you are using linux control shift t would open the terminal so just type in um, uh, whatever it was given here just copy this line and inside the terminal just paste it and enter now since i have already installed angular cli globally so i'm not going to do it again but you have to wait a minute or two for this to install completely and it will just show you that right and the next thing you have to do is to create a new project well you can actually check for your installed version as well by saying ng version and hit enter you can see it shows me angular cli version 1.1 it might be a bit higher for you but uh, more or less it's the same thing so the next thing you can do is just go ahead and type in ng new new and let's just say hello world app and hit enter you can see that it says me it's installing packages for tooling via npm so it might take some time as the documentation says as well so i'm just gonna pause the video here and wait for them to install okay so looks like it's done and uh, now what we can do is just cd into hello world app and uh, say ng surf and that's it and once you do that you can see that uh, it's just building some modules and it says me to open localhost 4200 and it's using webpack which is nice so let's just open that and here you can see that we have our angular app running completely fine on localhost 4200 so that is how you actually set up Angular very easily using Angular CLI. And uh, yeah, that's all for this tutorial. And in the next one, we're going to see a little bit of structural overview of what Angular CLI has done and how we can actually modify it a little bit so that we can get started with our own programming. So that's all for this one. And if you liked it, then don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one.